Hey, I'm Chapel, and uh, this is my walkthrough of um, Reincarnation 8 Solo as, uh, as Crown Prince. Um, so, starting off here, I don't like to reroll, so we'll take whatever the best we get is, and here I think I'd much prefer Copycat over the other two. It's good for, like, regular floors, doesn't do much on bosses, but it's like an okay start overall. Elemental Maestro or something would have been better, but... Can't complain too much. So I'm gonna be um, editing this out to just be the kind of boss fights to not make the long run too long. Um, I'll be sort of talking through the build as we go though, and sort of say what's going on with scrolls and ascensions, whatever. So we've got a fire tower start here, and let's see how it goes. So we're at the first boss now, at the end of Act 1, and we've got Golem as our fight. Uh, we're still, or we're running a fire tower, but we picked up a new one during that time. We got a Star Devourer to go with it, so we've got um, both Miasma and Fire for the boss, although we'll just be using Miasma for this. Um, and Ascensions wise, we've already got a rank 3 of Elemental Rage, so our damage is very very good already. Um, we've got Acidic Explosion just to help with uh, the regular hallways a bit and finally we just picked up a little bit of defensive with the Advanced Shield just to get a bit of a uh, regen back and to complement all that these are the scrolls so far. We've got a lot of pretty mediocre commons here. We've got a bit of mobility between these two. We've got the double ammo not doing a huge amount. Uh, we've got a bit of healing gourmet. Uh, some lucky shot. Uh, no retreat won't proc very often. That's not doing much. Uh, the elite assassin, we've got one stack on so far. So that's going to be scaling, but pretty good to get that early on. And finally, our best scroll here, the enhanced uh, brief respite. So this thing has no cooldown, and I can become immune whenever I want. If I like get low enough on health, I can just spam swap weapon, and it will be completely safe as long as I don't get one shot. We get an elemental relic here too. That's pretty good. And we do have the option of Pupil as well, which will be better boss damage than this Star Devourer here. Although if we pick up an Elemental Weave, then this Star Devourer becomes really good, so I'm tempted to just hold on to this for now. And corrosive Icy Spear, Fire Dragon, a Jewel Fang, and we take this a bit more, a bit more damage. And none of these weapons are uh, things we want to upgrade yet, so we'll just play the boss fight like this. For a little bit, just while the um, Star Devourer recharges. Oh, there we go. There we go. We've spam weapon swap during the intermission. Let's our Star Devourer reload a bit and makes us completely immune to um, the damage. Okay. Our bad grenade there. And there we go, there's Golden Dunn. Mm, that's just my asthma damage. We're barely doing um, any weapon damage at all right now. Uh, that is not a good, uh, not a good scroll. And uh, the jewel fangs are not too bad. The yeah, the elemental chance on this thing is pretty good. I think we'll swap the fire tower out for now. Um, prison we don't use, sanguine relic we don't use, and we get uh, wildfire. I think it's a pretty easy choice here. Okay. And our second blessing is 
can do painkiller. Don't really want fake death and overconsumption. We're already rocking a lot of scrolls and ascensions. I really don't think that's going to be doing much into Act Two. So we'll grab painkiller just in case we um we grab any kind of enthusiast scrolls, which uh, hopefully we'll see at some point. So uh, here we go into Act Two. Oh, okay. Multiple elites. Seal. Whoops. Okay. There's one. There's two. Nice. So we're at uh, second boss now. End of um, the desert stage. And. Weapons, we're still using a Star Devourer right now. We did pick up a new one. This one's much better inscriptions, a little more upgraded. I've not put any upgrades into it, Craftsman, yet. But uh, it's got double orange inscriptions. And uh, we picked up a Glimmering to support it, so very good for weapon swapping. Which, uh, not got a Weave yet, but we've got that brief respite, so the weapon swaps are very good with those two. Um... Best scrolls we got during this act, we got um, a speedy pursuit, a bit more lucky shot, we got official bear paw, can apply some on hits faster, and finally we've got a lightning enthusiast, so we're getting a bit of value out of the um, painkiller blessing. Um, aside from that, just got a few alright scrolls, got a dormant bullet, not too bad. Uh, arms dealer we can get a bit of value from, we're spending a lot of ammo. Um, Got Brutal Gloves, uh, and, oh, we got a bit of healing, the, uh, Resilient Life. So, alright, act overall, we've not got anything insane going on yet, we've got a few more stacks from the, uh, Elite Assassin, I got 50, plus 50% on that now. Um, we do have a Demon Law in this shop, but we don't currently have a way to keep the magazine up, so there's nothing too crazy going on with that right now. Get the uh, wait for good, uh, may as well. Um, so yeah, nothing, nothing really at this peddler. Not bothering with craftsmen yet. We're seeing on a lot of gold. We just want to try and find a good weapon ASAP into Act Three. Get some Gemini's on, and then get that upgraded as uh, as much as we can to meet the DPS check at the end. Yeah. Yeah, so once again, we'll just be using Miasma mostly for this fight. We can do a, a little bit of exploits as well. Oh, I forgot to um, talk about the Ascensions this act, actually. Um, so the main thing we did pick up this uh, this time was actually a uh, free point on wildfire. So wildfire's um, 
It's very good at the rank 1. It's awful at the rank 2. But um, at the time I was off it, I really didn't have anything better. And at the rank 3, it becomes quite good again, because now I'm getting the extra rate of fire during boss fights just from hitting stuff with a uh, elemental effect on in general. Because the uh, main downside of Wildfire is the fact it sucks on bosses at rank 1, unless it has um, ad spawns a lot. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Do it again. Oh, I didn't time the shot right. Oh, there's sound one. Yeah, so just to look at the uh, ascensions quick. So yeah, we've got the uh, the rank three of that now. Uh, got rank one of this, and I think uh, the pyro dominance was this act as well. So we don't really have a way to use this too much yet. We're only using the glimmering right now and not using that a huge amount. Um, that is a lightning damage cavalry, but I'm not not too stoked about that. I don't think it's uh, brilliant right now. And uh, these aren't great either. I'll probably just take the orb damage. I don't really want to get any more points in this. It doesn't do much. Um, yeah, the cavalry is tempting, but, um, it does have the extra boss damage. We don't have a lot to benefit, uh, crit right now. I'll, 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 I'll see how it does during the regular act, and I'll consider upgrading it, if it does alright. But I'm not a big fan of cavalry for the most part, so and let's uh, see what we get as our third blessing. Okay, we get Craftsman Inheritor. We're already at our 20 scroll limit, and we've got a lot of gold, so I don't think that's actually very good here. So usually, if you get this first, Craftsman Inheritor, you just start upgrading an early weapon, and it's really, really strong. But... When I've saved up gold or run, this isn't really doing much and it's just limiting my scrolls, so I think this will just do me more harm than good. Um, Skill Freak, I've not got any points in my grenades at all. I'm pretty much just using it for the elemental effect. I did just pick up my first orb talent, so I'm thinking out of the three, I just take the splinter orb here. So, once again, none of these blessings, they're not really what I was looking for. Something like Elemental Maestro. Um, is like the main thing I would have wanted, would contribute a lot more damage, but out of these, I guess I just take Splinter Orb. Okay, so going on to third boss now, um, you might notice I'm still using the cavalry from the end of second boss, um, although it is looking a bit different to before, so I obviously I swapped it to the shared uh, damage Gemini, we're sharing it with uh, Piercing Flame for the 40% burning chance. Um, it's now full of blue inscriptions from a red chest upgrade on it. And we've been upgrading it a lot. So I tried using this at the start of the act. It was doing really good damage. So I think it looks like it's going to be worth sticking with now. We've got it upgraded a lot. It's doing great. Um, and I think it can meet the DPS check quite easily, so it makes no sense to swap now. Um, and speaking of weapon upgrades, we picked up a huge scroll here. Premium membership stops us running out of gold. We can now spam upgrades without worrying. Like, this, this scroll is insane. This is, like, one of the best scrolls in the game now. Like, in High Reincarnation, the, um... The weapon upgrades become really important for meeting the DPS check, and premium membership is just like the easiest way to do it. If you've got gold saved up, then you're just like spamming free upgrades every time on the craftsman, and you're getting so much of it back that you can like pretty much do it at every craftsman you see. Um, aside from that, scrolls are sacked. We got uh, we got all free enthusiasts now, so um, our blessing is like paying off big time. We're getting a lot of buffs from these. Um, we also picked up a uh, bullet light, a bit more lucky shot, bullet bank, not doing much, 
Um, the airbag's been really good for our defensive, like the uh, brief respite not having to use very often anymore. Like we're not having to weapon swap too much um, to stay alive. Um, yeah, that's that's all the uh, the most important ones we got there. Um, not really much to say about the ascensions here either. We pretty much was just picking the best of what we got. We got a point in hex smoke, so that's all right. Aside that, we just grabbed some pretty mediocre orb ascensions here and a point in smoke genius, which is yeah. Once again, nothing great. We uh, we want to see more of pyro dominance, but um. It's looking unlikely now, going into 4th Act, we only get one Ascension choice, so I don't think we're going to be getting the rank 3 this game, but it's not too bad. We've already got a decent amount of damage with the Wildfire and Elemental Rage. So uh, let's go into this, uh, this third boss then. Uh, oh, okay. We've got um, Deadly Counter at the Peddler here. Um, and a Coin Shot. Um, I wonder if this, I think we're triggering enough, uh, yeah, we're triggering enough lucky shots to always, um, like, get our goal back, I think, so, I guess we do just take this. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, and yeah, so, we don't have flames, actually, wait. I think, um, oh dear, I just realised, our blessing, um, yeah, the painkiller stops us from getting the deadly counter fire enthusiast combo. So that's a bit of a shame, but it's still a scroll worth picking up. Deadly counter, we're still going to take damage every now and then, and getting the guaranteed crits is pretty decent damage increase, so. Not bad, not bad. I think, um, Sea Serpent would have been a little easier in this run. But I don't think either of these third bosses is going to be too bad as long as I um, play it all right. Oh, not like that. Let's uh, wait for some shield recharge, get our airbag back. Don't want to get one shot through the uh, cannons. Okay. <laughs> the recoil on this thing is pretty high compared to a normal cavalry. Okay, ooh, I can swap a sec. Oh, we've got quite a few things to clear up. Oh, and. Get rid of that. We're getting some red lucky shots now as well. We have got a lot of lucky shot chance. And another sc oh, the spirit bible, not the worst. We don't uh, we don't really run a lot of skill damage right now, but if I hadn't been upgrading the cavalry, um, this could have had potential as well. Fire damage, uh, wild hunt can do a lot. Um, <laughs> once again, nothing really going on with these ascensions here, so maybe take Energy Bolt 2 if we, um, if we get, uh, what's it called? Um, Energy Echo, then it becomes a lot better now, especially because we have the Spirit Bible. Okay, so, uh, Act 4 should be pretty easy still. We've got the, uh, Copycat helping out a lot, so we'll probably, um, yeah, back at, uh, Paul Monarch. Okay, so we're at um, final stage, last boss now, and nothing's changed really. We've been sticking to the same plan of just 
upgrading the cavalry. It's uh, 23 now. Um, didn't really get <laughs> anything ascension wise. We got a point in energy blade, which is okay. Um, we were we were forced into getting a point in uh, backpack expansion, so uh, so that's cool. But <laughs> um, scroll wise, um, nothing huge. We got Sucker Punch. The biggest one is uh, Skateboarder, so we shouldn't have to reload anymore. That is, like, pretty decent. Um, and with Store here, we've got Against the Flow. So between this and Skateboarder, I certainly don't have to reload now, so that's worth the pickup and a Corrosion Shard. The question is, I'll see if I can triple upgrade first. Although that said, I... No, I don't even want the Corrosion Shard. So I've got my, um, my Corrosion Enthusiast. So I'd lose, I'd lose some move speed and I'd, yeah, I'd lose move speed. So I gain damage. Yeah, I gain, yeah, actually, that's probably worth it. I gain damage and, yeah, it's 25% damage. That, that, that's all I get. Oh no, 50%, 50%, because I'll be always applying. 50% damage for 50% move speed. I think, um, just in case of the DPS check, I'll just take whatever damage I can, even though it's just going to be um, for grenade damage. Our weapons don't scale off corrosive at all, but every little helps. So. Well, I have got a brief respite and airbag to keep me alive in this fight. I shouldn't die. I've got my revive if needed, so the only way I think we lose is the, um, is the DPS check. Yeah. So, the damage is looking good. I, I really uh, think this is looking alright so far. So. Yeah, I really don't think we can fail this thing. This is a lot better damage than I expected, actually. <laughs> okay. Oh. Start weapon swapping. Oh, wrong weapon. And now, here we go. There we go. Nice. I did actually think, um, based on the start of the fight, I thought the um, the DPS check would be faster than that, but it's still, yeah, good damage. Um, cavalry definitely performed well here. It's got the extra boss damage, just a lot of a lot of just damage for the trade off of like low accuracy, low stability. That really doesn't matter on boss. We have insane rate of fire this run. We have um, basically double the shots, official bear paw. We've got the um, plus 75% from the inscription, We've got the rank free wildfire. Like, yeah, just constant um, elemental fusions. And yeah, decent damage overall. Um, Elite Assassin doing a, a lot as well, 100% buff on that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, pr pretty solid run. Like, nothing sort of super insane one shotting the boss, but is uh, good enough damage. Um, yeah, I, I hope you enjoy this little, little walkthrough. Um, and I might be doing more of these for other characters. I'll, I'll probably be um, editing it in a similar way, just sort of doing a sort of run through on each of the bosses, trying to cut out all the, all the boring bits. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.